It's an annual chance to remember police officers that gave their lives serving the public. The police memorial. But Councilman Tom Winooski asks that we find more chances to pay tribute to police, both past and present, in today's Rant and Rave. I attended the police memorial last week in downtown Toledo, and I wanted to share some of what I heard. I'm always amazed at the effectiveness of memorial services. Here's a place where you get hundreds of people together, and yet the simple sounds that surround the event, as subtle as they are around so many people, add so much to the emotion. For example, the quiet, purposefully random clops of the riderless horse. In contrast, the frightening, methodical blast of the 21-gun salute all to honor law enforcement officers who gave their lives in the line of duty. When the officer sang the Lord's Prayer, you could hear each breath he took in between the sniffles of the crowd. I have a lot of admiration for police officers. The Toledo Police Department has 673 officers. That seems like quite a few, doesn't it? Some high up in the city police administration have told me that 800 would be ideal. If 800 is ideal, I'd like 1,000. I think the best thing for economic development would be for the city's marketing brochures to show Toledo's finest, walking, riding in our neighborhoods, smiling with people, kissing babies, actually talking to residents about something other than crime. Can you imagine never having to call police because they would always have a presence and could proactively handle those pesky loud noise complaints in your neighborhood? Or they could catch a criminal before they run off with your flat screen TV. By the way, the city will add another police class later this year, about 30 or so, just as about 30 or so officers retire. It's great to remember those officers who died in the line of duty, but let's not forget the ones who still serve. We ask so much of them. And listen, one more sound. I can almost hear someone saying thank you. I'm Tom Winooski for Fox Rant and Rave. Remember, you can catch Rant and Rave every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Fox Toledo News First at 4. And as always, these opinions do not reflect the opinions of Fox Toledo or its employees.